so hey everyone welcome to another video this is going to be the first video of our node.js series in this video we will learn how to set up an application in node.js to set up a node.js app we will require two essential components the first thing obviously a code editor to write our code so for code editor we are going to use vs code because it's pretty easier to operate and to install vs code you can visit the official uh, site and from there you can download vs code for your operating system the next thing we will require is the node.js runtime environment so you can install node.js from the official node.js site and if you install or download node.js then it will also install node package manager so you can select the os of your pc and then download it so once downloaded you can open the terminal to check whether your node.js is installed successfully or not you can just type node space hyphen v and it will show you the version of your node.js you can also do this similar with a uh, node package manager and it will show you the version of it also my is a little older uh, so now let's open our vs code and as you can see we have already opened a folder named node app you can create a new folder by going into the files and going into your documents here you can create a new folder and open it in vs code so we'll create a new file in this folder and we will name it app.js so this is going to be our root javascript file so now let's open our terminal and initialize our project we are going to do it by npm init y okay so remember it is space hyphen y okay so this command has created a project for us with the default values so as you can see we have a new file package.json this file manages the structure and all the project info and dependencies so we have the name version and the description we can write it is just a basic node app we have the main file which is app.js as you can see there are keywords it is used for search engines like npm and for the author you can write your own name i will write here al khalid and the licenses on all that okay so let's open the terminal i will show you another property which is called dependencies so we will install the axios library here you can write npm install axios and you can uh, just write i if you want it will be easier and shorter so we will install this and as we install we have a new property in the package.json which is dependencies and it shows all the libraries that are installed in our project so it is now showing axios along with it we have two new files package log.json and node modules the node module contain library dependencies each having its own folder it includes code and structure of them the package log.json includes the package versions and it maintains the integrity with the help of hash values as you can see here we are using the sha 512 so now let's uh, move to our app and as you can see we have all the uh, dependencies we are not going to use axios anyway so now let's create an app where we are going to uh, create a text file so let's create a text file here and our app will read the content of the text file so we're going to name it khalid.text and let's just write hey it's khalid here so for this we are going to use an inbuilt package fs so we are going to import inbuilt fs module so the import function works like this we are storing it into the uh, same variable name fs and we are going to use the require method to import it so now in the next step we are going to use the read file method of fs module to read the content of a file so it shall be fs dot read file which is the method it takes uh, the file name we are going to put some error here so we can also see how error is logged in node the next thing we will need is the utf8 encoding which we will need to read uh, the file content and the finally we will uh, use a callback function here so the callback function will take the error and data in the argument so we are going to write an if statement here so if there is an error if there is an error means error is true then we will console log
error reading this file and also the error object will be logged and we will return it and finally we will log out the data so we are going to console log file contains and the data object so our code is done and finished so this is our main file app.js which is the main file of application it reads the content of khalid.txt and we can run this app we will open the terminal and to run this app we will type node and the main file name which is app.js if you see in the package.json you will see the main file name here by default which is app.js because it was the first file we created in the folder and now if we run it we uh, getting an unexpected error so it's basically uh, we missed a semicolon of in the console log uh, before the data object okay so now let's run again and this time it should give the error we put intentionally and as you can see it's uh, logging out the error object okay so let's fix it uh, we will write the correct name of the text file here and done and now it will uh, read the content of the text file so this is how you uh, set up an basic application in node.js so if you like this video uh, you can uh, press the like button and if you have any queries uh, do comment uh, below the video and we'll meet you in the next video till then uh, keep coding